bass hole here I'm going to show you guys how to set up a drop shot rig um, some of the things that you're going to need for this rig is going to be a drop shot weight um, they look similar to this right here uh, if you can see that um, they come round or like this uh, there's probably some other shapes and sizes as well um, but that right there you put your line through um, at the bottom and you pull it up and it kind of cinches in there and holds it and that way if it gets stuck on a rock or whatever it, it, it kind of breaks the line or pulls it through and then all you lose is the weight you don't lose your worm and your hook and everything else some gamagatsu hooks this is a two aught um, split shot slash drop shot hook uh, you get these pretty much anywhere um, that sells gamagatsu stuff um, these these are good for the drop shot um, let me see you also need yourself uh, whatever type of plastic you're going to use, you can set this up Texas style um, with a worm hook or you can use the drop shot hook um, as well. Experiment, you know, have fun with it, figure out what works for you best, but this is just the basic rig. Um, these are the worms that I use for it. It's uh, the Robo Worm. They float. Um, it's kind of nice when you're, when you're, especially when you're fishing deep, um, you feel that, uh, that weight on the bottom and, uh, you're not doing too much to it. You're just kind of sitting there holding it, maybe twitching it just a little bit um, just to try to get that worm worm to uh, flutter and move. Uh, most of the time the current will do most of it for you. Usually you're f fishing you know, right beneath your boat or if you're from shore it's a little bit different. You're, you're going to have to do you know, a little bit of moving with it. So the first thing that we want to do is tie the hook on. Here's your hook right here. You want to use the polymer knot. Um, you want to use fluorocarbon line just because fluorocarbon line sinks, it does not float. Um, however, I'm using monofilament right now. You can use monofilament or braid, but fluorocarbon is nearly invisible to the fish and it doesn't float, so it's much better line for this rig. However, using fluorocarbon, they don't recommend that you use polymer knot for fluorocarbon however with this rig you have to use a polymer knot so that being said you have to be careful when you're cinching this knot up you don't want to create any kinks so you tie your polymer knot if you don't know how to tie this knot there's a a lot of different things online that show you how to find it or there's plenty of apps out there that will show you how to tie it and maybe I'll create a video later on and how to tie it but for right now we'll just focus on this drop shot rig lubricate your knot slowly cinch it up especially if you're using fluorocarbon Try to make sure that everything's cinching up even. Once you get it cinched up, tighten the knot up. I'll leave enough line for however long um, you want it to sit off the bottom. Right now I only have about 12 inches, that's okay. Normally you go 12 to 18 inches or whatever. Um, let me reel this up just a hair so you can see what's going on. So I got my hook right here. Right now my hook's not sitting exactly the way I want to. No problem. You take your line, take your hook, take the tag into your line, you go up and around and back through the eye of the hook through the top, and then you pull that, pull that tight and your hook will sit the way you want, right like that. So, now you have your hook tied. Remember, polymer knot, be careful cinching it up, especially if you're using fluorocarbon line. Monofilament, not such a big deal. Braided, not such a big deal, but fluorocarbon, um, you want to be careful cinching it up. Try to cinch everything up even, and always lubricate your knots. So, we're going to go ahead and put the weight on. Take your weight. 
in your line, tag into your line, you put it through, doesn't matter how much you leave, cinch it up like that, now you have your weight hanging on, if it hits a rock or gets connected to a rock, it will break off, no problem. Okay, now, putting your hook, your worm on the hook. Some guys will just nose hook it, just like that, where it'll come out like that. That's okay. It's not really the way I do it. Um, I'm probably going to try it a few times this year. Um, if it works well, then I'll, I'll use it. If not, then uh, I'll go to the way I normally put it on. Um, right now, the way I, I've been using it is just kind of hook it through like that and let it set. So this way, you have the weight down at the bottom, holding, holding it down uh, just above the weed beds. And then you got the current moving it around, or the little bit that you may be moving it up at the top of the boat. Remember, this is a finesse type rig. You want to be careful how much you're uh, you're moving it around and stuff. Uh, let the current do most of the work for you. And this floating worm will wiggle like crazy down there. It's it's got life down there. So um, check it out, and uh, that's that's your basic uh, drop shot rig. Um, I hope this uh, helps you guys out, um, uh, and uh, fish on.